Hello there, this is Jack Halbert, and I'm just doing a little update on a few things. I've got some good news and I have some bad news, but I'll start with the good news and I'll basically set it as the time that it comes out. So, first off, you might have heard of BronyCon before. It's a convention for bronies, and it's in the name. It's being held at, in, at the Baltimore Convention Center in Baltimore, which is in Maryland in the US. I, I am attending to that. Uh, I. I'm just going as me, I'm not a guest or anything, I'm just going with friends, you know, that sort of thing. But if you do happen to see me, I mean, you're welcome to, I don't, I don't know what you want to do, but this is whatever you want, really, I don't, but you, within reason, obviously, ugh, you know what I mean. So, that's that. Something possibly a bit more interesting is you might have also heard of Buck, which is the Bruni United Convention King, wait a second, no, I don't know what it stands for, but it's a brony convention in the UK, which is being held in Manchester, I think it's the Bridgewater Hall, uh, there's also the Summer Sun Celebration, which is an extra music event, so, basically, this one, not only am I going, but I'm actually a guest at this one, I will be performing, um, probably not what you want me to be performing, I'm going to be performing some music, so... If you like drum and bass, you can come along to my set, which I don't actually know when the set is time-wise. It will be on the Saturday in the main convention, uh, but I'm not sure exactly the times. We haven't been told, but, you know, uh, if you are interested in drum and bass, I would recommend coming to that because that's pretty much what I'm going to play. Yeah, so uh, I feel I should probably... Um, I'll list you some of the other guests going to, to uh, Buck in case any of them make you want to go as well as, yeah, I don't know, uh, again, if you see me at any point, you can, whatever, I'm, I'm cool with that, but other, other guests, some of them I know, some of them I'm friends with, but I'm just going to read them all out in case you have interest in any of them, Living Tombstone, Wooden Toaster, Acoustic Brony, Laser Pwn 3, or Laser Pwn, I should say, A Rainbow Crash 88, General Mumble, Pipsqueak, Nighty, Draw Ponies, Jack T. Herbert, who's that dick? Friends, Ely Monty, Wreck, Levin the Harmony, Tear the Pony, Blaze, Celestia Radio, Clutterbix, My Psycho X, Sketchy Sounds, Pony Finder PNP, Urban Meadows, Project Awakening, Icky, Underpony, Speedcore Dave, Yami Bjork, Galaxy Art, Bronified, Legends of Equestria, Addictia, Blitz, and DJ Zingabra. Oh, okay, that was a bit of a mouthful, but that's, yeah, if any of those entice you to come, you should come, because it's in, it's in, uh, Manchester, if you're able to get there, the tickets, uh, actually, I could check the ticket prices, I don't, rem I think, if you want the, the basic ticket, it's £55, that gets you access to Saturday and Sunday, but if you want access to the Summer Sun Celebration, which is the big music thing, which you might be interested in, that is a separate ticket for £15, which is on the Friday, which is held... I don't remember where it's held. Um, I could look it up. It's held at Manchester Central. That's where it is. It's convention complex. Yeah. So that's that's Buck, and um, you should very much come along to it if you have any interest in Buck. I don't know what else really you could say about it. It's. I'm sure it'd be a fun time. The other thing that I forgot. Uh, my friend Tom, also known as Juggler, the person who makes these plushies is also going to be at Buck and he's got a vendor table there so if you want to buy some of those plushies you can get them from him at the table that'll be there you can also I think you can order them in advance and he'll keep it there for you I'm not sure about uh, I'll link his stuff in the description anyway so you can sort that out for yourself only only really ask about it if you actually have the money to pay for it because he does get a bit of um, people just asking for them for free and like, he can't do that, he needs the, the full price for it. It's, I believe it's, I might be wrong, but from memory I think this size one is £30 and this size one is 60 I think, it's been a while so I don't really remember but I'm, I think the prices are listed on his page anyway and so that you can either order them to, and then pick them up at the con or you have it delivered or I, I don't know it's whatever you want really I think now moving on to some of the bad news uh, this is just mostly personal problems really uh, you might have noticed it's been 
quite a while since I posted any video that isn't Jack Reacts. I've not, like, I, I have rec tried recording more of the Let's Plays and stuff, but it's really not going well, like, the commentary is rubbish, a banjo to it, I keep getting lost, and it's not, not, it's not fun to watch. And because I am trying to make it fun to watch, it's not fun for me to play, which just in turn makes the video rubbish, and I don't want to waste your time with it. Coupled with the fact that, I'm going to be completely honest, not all that many people watch those ones. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for everyone who does, but when 20, 27,000 people who choose not to watch it, I should probably spend my time on something that people would want to watch, or something that gives me personal enjoyment, or something like that, because it's just... I don't know, it, it feels... I just feel awful while doing it, because I can tell, oh, this is really bad, and this is really boring, and nobody is gonna like this, and then I feel bad, and it su makes me suffer in other things. So, um... I'm, I think for now, I'm going to stop doing regular Let's Plays. I'll still keep up Reacts, because one a week I can handle that, you know. I, I, I always have at least one moment in a week where I am all sorted and can, can do stuff, but keeping up regular daily videos with Let's Plays can be, like, I'm not saying it's harder than lots of other things, it's just I'm having trouble keeping it in my, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I think that pretty much wraps up everything I need to say. Uh, once again, I'll say I, I, I'm going to BronyCon, you can see me there. You can, I'm going to Buck as a guest, and so you can definitely see me there if you go to the right place at the right time. It will be in the, I'm guessing it will be in the con book when you get there. I mean, I, I don't know exactly the schedule and stuff, so. Yeah, it'll, it'll be there, and so yeah, that'd be it'd be easy to find me there. Probably less easy at BronyCon because I'm not going to be anywhere specific at a specific time. So, so yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. So I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.